So I've been working on something really interesting today that I couldn't wait to share with you because I was looking at the FTX exchange where you can trade the move of Bitcoin. Now by move, what I mean is trading how big or how small the move of Bitcoin might be in a, on a given day up or down. But what's interesting about that, when I saw that you could actually trade that, what jumped in my head was all the machine learning that we've been doing. And could we use machine learning to actually predict how big the move of Bitcoin will be tomorrow? Not whether it will go up or down, but just how big will the move be? And it appears that you actually can. And I've been able to get around 70% accuracy on this, which to me is, is fantastic. It's actually phenomenal. So what I'm going to be doing in this video is showing you how I've been able to actually use the tool we've been developing together to, to actually go and make predictions for the size of the move for Bitcoin. I'm going to explain what the move is. I'm going to explain more about this FTX exchange. I've only been looking at this for the last day. So I really couldn't tell you, you know, very much about this exchange, nor am I promoting the exchange. But there's a very interesting market here that I think there's a lot of alpha to be gained, which given this is a new market, could be really interesting. So the first thing is, if you go over to markets on the FTX exchange and go to volatility, you'll see this move area here. So this is where you can trade the move of Bitcoin. Here you can see this contract for December 26. There's even one down here for December 27. So what does move mean? So first of all, move just simply means, let's say the price of Bitcoin today is, you know, $45,000 and tomorrow it's 44,000. The move is $1,000. Let's say tomorrow it was 46,000. The move is still $1,000. Let's say what happens tomorrow actually is it goes up by $1,000 and back down to the same price. The move is zero. So you're actually trading the volatility. You're trading the size of the move of Bitcoin. And there's a lot of documentation around the move from this exchange, etc. You can read into it in a, lot, in a lot more detail. But what I'm going to do is actually just jump over here to this chart. So you can see here for the current day, you can see that the move started at about $1,190. That was like the open. And right now, because of the movement of Bitcoin's price, it's at 788 right? So we're not going to try to trade the direction of the move yet. We want to predict what it should be using machine learning. And this is very different to predicting price direction. Price direction has nothing to do with it here. The size of the move has everything to do with it. And also what's interesting here is I was able to run some Python code just to pull historical data for not for a lot of contracts, just for a number of contracts from between the 17th to the 26th of December. And all of the contracts seem to open at about 1200 or 1100 um, here on the open, you can see in terms of these predicting the move contracts. So basically what that means is on average, the market is saying Bitcoin will probably move by about $1,000. Now the arbitrage here, the statistical arbitrage here will be, can we build a machine learning tool, which I believe we've done, that can actually predict with better accuracy than what the market knows on what the direction will be and do. Meaning you could literally have, you know, X percent of wins versus X percent of losers. You add that up and you're making money, right? You're making bank. And again, we'll talk more about the execution. But, you know, I'm just looking at the historical prices here. You don't need to run this Python code. It's just some very straightforward code. Uh, you can even see I've used a key and a secret here, and I'm going to change these anyway. So, you know, you don't need to use this key in secret. You can get your own from FTX. But I've got, you know, it's just some Python code running to just tell me historically what that was. And we can see that on average, you know, they're starting at about 1100. Now, if you were to short that move from 1100 and the move ended up at say 800, then you've made $300, right? You've made $300. If you went long, you would have lost money. But the interesting thing here is you're trading the move. And that I think is very predictable. And I'm going to prove to you why in a moment. So again, I'm going to use the platform crypto as it's for this, but because this is what I built it for is testing these kind of things. You know, if you know Python and you know how to download data and write algorithms and stuff for that, you, you know, the principles will translate for you. Otherwise, if you're not on crypto wizards and you just find this really interesting, this will still be really uh, entertaining, I think, for you, because you can literally see me exploiting a gap or pot a potential gap here. And if you're on crypto wizards, this is just going to be awesome. So let's just go into that here. So the first thing we're going to do is go BTC-USD. 
I'm going to download a decent amount of data, five years worth of daily data. And I'm just going to call this BTC. Let's call it BTC move and get the data. So now it's putting five years of data. I'm going to head over to my data engineer here and download that data that it's just fetched for me. So the reason I'm downloading it is I want to put it here in Excel. And I'm going to show you exactly what I do over here. So the first thing I want to do is add a column called move. And I'm going to zoom into the spreadsheet just so that it's more clear for you what's going on here. So the move is going to be very simple. It's just going to say, you know, what was the size of the move from yesterday's close price to today? So let's assume, you know, we're on this day here. That's simply going to be the close price yesterday minus today. Now, the problem is this is actually a negative number. I'm going to fill that down. You can see each day it's calculating that. It's usually, you know, it's a negative or a positive number. But we don't care about the direction here. We care about the size of the move. So I'm going to make this the absolute of that difference. And so that's just going to take those negative numbers and turn them into a positive. So now we have the move. The other thing that I want to do here is I want to put the log uh, of the move, right? So I want to put the actual log price here, which is going to be log of that move. And that's just going to normalize some crazy size moves, right? Because if I scroll down, we go to you know 2021 or whatever the prices of bitcoin have increased so that the size of the move increases right so we want to use log just to try and normalize that a bit and so that's the first thing we're going to do here and then the second thing that i want to do is actually go and look at the outcome so i'm going to look at the outcome here of what happened with the move tomorrow so what do I mean by that? So let's pretend you're a machine learning algorithm, right? And you need to train yourself on some data. The way to do that is to come up with some rules that try to predict an outcome and see if you were right. So you need to know what the results were. You're going to carve out a set of data, look at your prediction versus what the results were. And then once you think you've learned some rules, you go over to, you know, some data you haven't seen and, and then test it and then see how accurate you were at predicting on data you haven't seen. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to add in the outcome here just to say, you know, what happened tomorrow. So that gives the machine learning model something to play with. And so very simply, I'm going to put in an if statement here to say if tomorrow, so this cell down here is greater than today, put a one, otherwise put a zero. And then I'm going to double tap on that. And you can see here, yep, tomorrow was up. So it's a one. The next day was up. So it's a one. Here it's etc. So we're predicting this move. And I could quite as easily, by the way, just do it on the log. It wouldn't make any difference, right? This is zero and one. Now, the only thing I need to be careful of is down at the bottom. It's looking at tomorrow, but tomorrow hasn't happened, right? Today is the 26th of December. And down here, you'll see 26th of December. There's no 27th. And because it's looking for a move down here, it assumes a blank cell is zero. So it's giving a zero. The truth is here, it should be nothing because we don't know. Now what I'm going to do is go and save this. So um, I'm going to go and save this to my desktop. And I'm going to save it as a CSV file. And I'm going to call it, you know, BTC move. That's absolutely fine. We'll just save it as that. And I'm going to copy all of this. And I'm going to paste values. And the reason for that is because I want to delete this top row where we don't actually have any information. So let's delete that. Now I'm going to go back over to crypto wizards very quickly, data builder, and I'm going to just replace that file with the latest one we just saved and upload that and just show you now that that's uploaded what it actually looks like. So if we go over to data engineer, here is the top five rows of data. Here's the bottom. You can see we don't know what happens tomorrow because we don't have that data to put it into the trading model. But I'm going to show you we can predict it with like 70% accuracy, which is amazing. So and this is real. Like I, I so far yet to find a flaw in this. I'm hoping you can find a flaw in it, but it's real and it's really exciting. Um, so let's go. Let's get into that. One of the things I want to add as well is the return of the close price, because I think it's relevant. So I'm just going to go to returns, daily log return, and just add that in. Um, and I'll show you now what that's actually gone and done. So if I go and look at my data, and I go and look at view data, here it's added the daily log return. So it's just looking at, you know, that close price return as well. Now let's head over to ML Trainer, Machine Learning Trainer. Hit BTC Move, predict an existing feature. So we're going to predict this outcome column that we spoke about earlier. And I wanted to take into account the move, or sorry, I wanted to take into account the log move, the daily log return, and I would say 
that should be fine for now. Let's go with that and hit OK there. Put this on mixed, put this on 1% because I don't need to, it to return 10% of the data back to me. I just need 1% and let's start training. So here we've got 69%, 69.9% accuracy with a 2% standard deviation. Now, the one thing we can do to make this even better is we can calculate the return of the move. So here I'm going to call this M return. And I'm going to upload this again and show you what it does. So the M return is just simply going to be, you know, it's going to be um, this uh, here divided by the day before. It's as simple as that. And I'm going to just copy that. And I'm going to paste values here again. I'll get rid of that top row. And I'm going to re-upload that data again just to show you the improvement that that makes. So if I go to BTC move and upload, that's done. Let's go back to data engineer. Let's refresh this here. And I'm going to add on that daily log return again, like we did before. I could do I could just have done that in Excel, but I like the way this calculation works and just how quick it is. And so that's all good. So if I refresh that, you can see it's exactly the same data we had before, except now I've put in this, you know, this move return column as well. So let's go and see how that looks. Let's go to ML trainer. Let's put in BTC move. And so now I'm going to predict the outcome. I'm going to add in the daily log return, the movement return and the log return over here. Run that. Let's put it on mixed. Let's put it on 1% return run it here and bang there we go so we've actually got this is phenomenal we've got 72.5 percent or 71.1 percent accuracy with a one percent standard deviation what that means is this model is at least 70 percent accurate so anyway coming back to the ftx exchange it definitely looks like there is some potential alpha here when it comes to actually trading the move right there, there seems to be some definite predictability going on so what I encourage you to do is to actually go and if you are writing machine learning algorithms, go and pull some data, look at the size of the move, run it through logistic regression or, you know, uh, gradient boosting like XGBoost or decision trees, run it through some kind of classification problem because there's definitely predictability going on. Um, and we could see that, you know, when we looked at the platform. So I thought you'd find that really interesting. You can predict the size of the move with some degree of accuracy. The only thing I'd say is when I actually went to test this with recent data, etc., it, de it definitely needs tweaking. Like you need to look at, you know, how many um, wins you would have had in the last three weeks, etc. That's something I'm going to be working on more. So just use this with a lot of caution. Use the platform if you're using it with a lot of caution for now. It's ready there just for exploration and then go deeper where you need to if you are going to make any trading decisions around it. I thought this was a fascinating find. I thought you'd find it really interesting and I'll see you in the next video.